It is right now a golden age for making novels into longer series. You can build out characters, you can draw out suspense. When you take a book and you, and you turn it into a visual world, you, know, you have to make lots of decisions. You're kind of torn between the things that make it a great book and the things that might make it a great TV show. Everybody knows The Handmaid's Tale, loves The Handmaid's Tale. It's a really iconic book, and I think we wanted to be respectful of it, but also know that we were working in a different medium. There were literally just physical challenges of how they walk and how they don't look at each other and the wings that they wear. And a lot of it's in the book, but then we also kind of had to figure out what the rules were. Blessed be the fruit. May the Lord open. The series has decided that it's taking off from now, not from 1984, and they have the handmaids of all different shapes, sizes, colors. I think works pretty brilliantly. Very nice. Lovely. In the book, the Serena Joy character and the commander are older than they are in the series, but I can see why they did it. It makes for a lot more sexual tension and jealousy. He is my husband until death do us part. Don't get any ideas. This is the story of Alfred, and we are telling her story, but also this exact same story is happening to millions of people all across Gilead. We wanted a chance to kind of grow the amazing work that Margaret Atwood has done and tell a deeper, different side of the story. It's very strong acting. It's high production values. It's very tense. You feel just on edge all the time. And there is no question it will reach a new audience. This is too real. Mm -hmm.